hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here this channel is called kiswahili ni urithi and i am mwalim shauri so in today's video we will continue with our topic which is salamu au maamkio In English, it is greetings. Yeah, we have already uh, learned two ways or two types of greetings. The first one was um, habari greetings, and the second one, jumbo greetings. Yeah, so if you haven't watched those two videos, I recommend you to go and watch those two videos so that you can have uh, a clear path when we are learning uh, these Swahili greetings or Kiswahili greetings. In today's session, we will learn uh, other ways or other types of greetings in which we will learn how a person who is younger greeting a person who is older and uh, vice versa. And uh, we will also see uh, modification or modifications of these greetings so this greeting is shikamo shikamo this greeting actually means i give you my respect I give you my respect and the person who is older will respond by saying marahaba marahaba and the meaning is I accept your respect Like so. So let's practice. Shikamo marahaba. Shikamo marahaba. Not shikamo, not shikamu. No. Shikamo. Okay? Marahaba. So, as I said before, you can modify these greetings by adding titles. You can modify it by adding uh, other greetings. Yeah? For instance, when I use this shikamo, I mostly use it to people who are older than me for maybe two years and more. But you should also <laughs> keep it in mind that uh, some people, they don't like to be greeted with shikamo, especially those who are like uh, maybe two, three, four years older than you, or even more than that. Some people don't like to be greeted with shikamo because they have this notion like, uh, when you greet me with shikamo, you kind of making me old or or uh, yeah something like that but uh, when you are with your friend for example uh, you know this person doesn't mind if I give him or her shikamo or not yeah then that is acceptable because there are people who don't like that and you know greeting is a greeting yeah but uh, to be more uh, polite and uh, following the tradition and the cultural aspect of the language when you're greeting someone who is older please use shikamo so as i said before you can modify it so for example you can say uh habari za habari za leo habari za leo so habari za leo Leo means today. Habari za leo. So how is today? How are you today? What's the news today? Habari za leo. And as I said before, if you watch other video, especially the habari greetings, you see how to respond to this habari by using uh, various ways. So you can say nzuri 
o salama o njema njema okay habari za leo o habari za nyumbani nyumbani habari za nyumbani nyumbani uh, home ya yeah. or uh, now most people when they are using this shikamo marahaba uh, especially after someone responding by saying marahaba he or she would ask you hujambo hujambo Again this is this is covered in the jumbo greetings so when you watch that uh, video you will also see uh, the way of responding to jumbo in which i can just write it here si jumbo yeah and so on and so forth yeah so this is very important especially when you are visiting uh, Tanzania because we are using it more than any other country where Kiswahili is spoken. So, for example, in DRC, I met people who are from DRC and when I, I greeted them with Shikamo, they didn't know how to respond. They even some of them they didn't even know if that was a greeting. Yeah. So, if you're going to Tanzania or if you are uh, if you know that you'll be around people who from Tanzania make sure that you use shikamo and they will be very impressed they will feel like you respect them and you know they will just be happy if you use this shikamo uh, to your elders yeah thank you so much for watching and I am um, I please uh, ask you to kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it to others Asante sana and kwaheri.